In the last video, we defined uh, the six trigonometric functions of an acute angle theta, so the six trig functions uh, in a right triangle, that's how we define them. Um, now what we're going to do is talk about the uh, relationships between them. So here we have a shortened version of what we did in the last video. So we have a right triangle here, here's our right angle, here's theta, um, here's A, the adjacent side, B, the opposite side, and C, the hypotenuse. So remember, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, uh, the cosine of theta is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, tangent of theta is the opposite over adjacent, cosecant is the uh, hypotenuse over the opposite, secant is the hypotenuse over the adjacent, and uh, cotangent is uh, the adjacent over the opposite side. Okay. So just a quick refresh from the last video. Now what we want to do is talk about uh, what are called the fundamental identities. So there are uh, basic fundamental relationships between these guys here. And we briefly talked about some of them uh, in the previous video, but now let's talk about them in more detail here. So it, it's also easier to see now that we have kind of a scaled down version of what we did in the last video. So here sine of theta is uh, the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is b over c. And look at the cosecant of theta. It's uh, the reciprocal of that, right? So if we take b over c, take the reciprocal, that's going to be c over b, okay? And that's the cosecant of theta. Okay, so uh, this is 1 over this, and vice versa. The cosecant of theta is 1 over the sine of theta. Okay? So that's our first reciprocal identity, uh, and we'll write it like that. The cosecant of theta is 1 divided by the sine of theta. Okay, because remember, to get the reciprocal of something, you take 1 and divide it by that thing. So the reciprocal of sine of theta is 1 over sine of theta. Okay, so if you take 1 over b over c, so 1 over b over c, okay, what are you doing? You're dividing by b over c, so that means you're multiplying by c over b. Or in other words, 1 over b over c, take the reciprocal of b over c, that's c over b. Okay, and that's the cosecant of theta. So this right here is 1 over sine of theta, this is the cosecant of theta. Okay. So uh, there is a similar relationship between cosine and secant and tangent and cotangent. So notice uh, the cosine of theta is a over c, and the secant of theta is the reciprocal of that, c over a. So what we could also say is, uh, let's use a different color here. So we could also say that the uh, secant of theta equals 1 over the cosine of theta. Okay. So the secant of theta is 1 over the cosine of theta, and likewise, uh, tangent of theta is b over a, cotangent of theta is a over b, the reciprocal of that. So we could also say the cotangent of theta, okay, the cotangent of theta, equals 1 over the tangent of theta. Okay, so if we zoom in on that here. Okay, so cosecant of theta is 1 over the sine of theta, secant of theta is 1 over the cosine of theta, and the cotangent of theta is 1 over the tangent of theta. All right? Um, now, we could also, so these are commonly expressed like this, but we could also express them the other way, right? So what do we mean the other way? Well, if cosecant is 1 over sine, then we could also say that sine of theta is 1 over the cosecant of theta, right? Because, uh, you know, what we said was that cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, Okay, so it's true the other way also. The sine is the reciprocal of the cosecant. Okay, b over c is the reciprocal of c over b. Okay, so sine of theta is the reciprocal of the cosecant of theta. Uh, and likewise, we could also say, uh, we could say this one similarly. So we could say cosine of theta is the reciprocal of the secant of theta. And uh, for this one, we could also say the tangent of theta is the reciprocal of the cotangent of theta. OK? So these are the six reciprocal identities. Technically speaking, there's really only three, because uh, this identity and this identity are exactly the same thing. They both say exactly the same thing. Likewise, these two identities say exactly the same thing, uh, and these two identities say exactly the same thing. So there's three or six, depending on how you look at it. But these are what are called the uh, reciprocal identities. Okay? So uh, there's two other types of identities. There's quotient identities and Pythagorean identities. Uh, we'll do the quotient identities in this video, and we'll do the Pythagorean identities in the next video, because uh, they're very important, so they should be kind of kept separate. Okay, so let's talk about the uh, quotient identities here. Okay.
So quotient just means uh, like division, you're dividing stuff, right? So quotient identities here, what we're going to do is we're going to see some relationships between these guys uh, by dividing here. So um, what if we take B over C and divide it by A over C? So let's do that. Uh, B over C divided by A over C. Okay. So if we take B over C and divide it by A over C, what's, uh, what's going to happen? Well, B over C is on top, so it just stays B over C. Now, if you divide by A, let's zoom in on this. If you divide by A over C, what are you multiplying by? You're multiplying by C over A. Okay. So the C's cancel, uh, and we're left with B over A. What is that? That's tangent of theta, right? What do we start with? We started with B over C on top. Okay. This is the sine of theta. That's the sine of theta. And we had A over C on the bottom, which is the cosine of theta, right? So that's cosine of theta. And what do we end up with? We ended up with the tangent of theta. Okay, so again, B over C is the sine of theta, and we divided that by A over C, and A over C is the cosine of theta, and we ended up with B over A, which is the tangent of theta. So what that tells us then is that sine of theta divided by cosine of theta equals the tangent of theta. And that's our first uh, quotient identity here. So tangent of theta equals uh, sine of theta divided by the cosine of theta. Okay, so that's our first quotient identity. Now, um, we could also do something similar with cosecant and secant and cotangent, but let's not do that. Okay, let's not do something like that. Um, let's maybe do something different. So we already know that cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent, right? Cotangent is one divided by the tangent. So in other words, when you have the tangent, just take the reciprocal and you got the cotangent. Well, we know now that the tangent is sine over cosine, so what if we take the reciprocal? Well, the reciprocal of tangent is the cotangent. What's the reciprocal of sine of theta over cosine of theta? It's just cosine of theta over the sine of theta. Okay. So a couple different ways we could have got this. We could have just said, okay, what if we, so we did B over C divided by A over C. What if we do A over C uh, divided by B over C then, right? Or we could mess around with cosecants and secants, but let's just not worry about that. Um, what we want to do is use these reciprocal identities to establish our other quotient identity here, okay? So again, uh, we saw here from B over C divided by A over C that sine of theta over cosine of theta is the tangent of theta. Okay, so tan of theta is sine divided by cosine. Um, and we already know that cotangent of theta is the reciprocal of tangent of theta. Okay, so tangent of theta, take the reciprocal, we get cotangent of theta. Sine of theta over cosine of theta, take the reciprocal, we get cosine of theta over sine of theta. All right, and these are the two quotient identities here. So of course, there are a few different ways of expressing these, um, but we don't want to get really hung up on that. It's, they're more commonly expressed, much more commonly expressed like this. Tangent is sine over cosine, cotangent is cosine over sine. Okay? So these are actually pretty important here to keep in mind. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at all these before we move on to the next video. So if you know sine of theta and cosine of theta, you've pretty much got all the other trig functions, right? Because if, you know, if you know sine of theta and cosine of theta, well, first of all, if you know sine of theta, you can get cosecant. Okay? If you know cosine of theta, you can get secant. Okay? So that's already four trig functions that you know. And if you know sine and cosine, then you can divide them to get tangent. Okay? And uh, you can divide them the other way. So sine of theta divided by cosine of theta gives you the tangent of theta. And then uh, if you do the reciprocal, you're going to get cotangent of theta. Okay? So um, you actually only need to, uh, you can know less than that and still get all of them. We'll see a, a bunch of examples in, the, uh, in some later videos. But for now, just keep in mind that if you want to know um, what the six trig functions are, you don't really have to know a whole lot of information to begin with. So that's kind of cool. But we'll explore that in later videos. Um, but in the next video, we'll talk about the Pythagorean identities. So that's it for reciprocal and quotient identities.